Minister and welcome today everyone. I would just like to further instate what the Minister has already said today. We are here today and it is a very important reason that we're here today on the eve of Road Safety Week. SAPOL does not take these things lightly. It has already been stated that we lost another life overnight last night. That is the 77th life this year. That is 77 people that will not be home for Christmas. This is a message that we are sending that we want that to stop now. We are heading in to the summer months, the warmer months, the celebratory months. It is time to take stock and to look around you and to think about what you are doing before you hop in that car. Think about what you're doing when you are in that car. The people who owned these cars behind us had plenty of opportunity. They were recidivist, poor road users and for that we are going to crush their cars today. And as the Minister further stated, we do not apologise for that. We are here to do high visibility policing on our roads and that will continue through the summer months as well. Thank you. Inspector, can you give some more detail as to what these drivers actually did? Uh, there was a long list of offences that occurred over a number of years um, and for that they, were, they went to court on all of those matters um, and were convicted in court for that. And after that fact we then have the ability to apply to the court um, to forfeit of that vehicle onto us where we then decide whether or not the vehicle is going to be crushed or sold. And how many vehicles a year would you crush? Um, it is as has already been mentioned, this is something that is going to, we're looking to start to occur um, more and more over the upcoming years and months. Um, uh, I believe in the past 12 months these will be the first vehicles that we've crushed. Uh, maybe in terms of impounded then? How, how many cars? I don't have those numbers on me yet. Sorry. You, you mentioned obviously just the, the fact that I guess reckless drivers also contribute to, to crashes yep. um, throughout the year. Just what, um, what toll does that take? not only on workers, but also families. Oh, it's a huge toll. Um, and especially when you think about the fact that, you know, the majority of these fatalities that we're seeing occur within our country locations. And most of the first responders that attend to these things um, can be friends of the victims and the people involved. That has a long on-running effect for all people, not just for the police, but also for the emergency services that have to attend these collisions. Yep. How frustrating is that? Hugely frustrating and especially when this is stuff that we're seeing again and again and again and that's why we are sending together here today, we are sending that strong message that we will not stand for that. We are going to take action and this will be the result of that action. What do you say to drivers who do get behind the wheel and, and choose to put other lives at risk um, by you know, dangerous driving, things like mooning and um, you know, speeding etc? Yeah, it, just stop and think. Think about what you're doing. Think about who you're affecting. Think about the people that you are leaving behind. It's not just about you. It's about everyone around you. And it is a very selfish act when you turn around and you do things that are going to impact on your family, impact on your friends, impact on the people that have to attend these jobs. Some of these situations stay with our people and other emergency services for years. And that toll, you can't count the effect of that toll. By way of drivers are you noticing is there an increase in that sort of behavior obviously we've had we've seen COVID sort of I guess um, hitting you know people where they're staying at home more I guess but are you noticing is there an increase in the number of home drivers or you know statistically although we do look at things like that we look at what, what people are doing in the moment so you know we need to say to people whether it's you, whether you're getting in a car with a mate, whatever it might be, you need to take responsibility for the actions that are occurring. So if you've seen your friends act stupidly and doing home behaviour, call them out. Be brave. Do that. You might just save a life that night. Is there any particular area that you're noticing is, is more of a concern than the previous? Or oh, I haven't really, yeah, at this moment I haven't got anything to, to look at for that, sorry. Okay, thank you. Very much. Thank you.